You need to watch this 25 minute all inclusive clean with me if you are ready to get your house in shape for company. This is Shannon from Skip to My Life where I help you live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget. Before you get started cleaning, I highly recommend that you sit down and take 10 to 15 minutes to write out a detailed list of everything you need to do. This time spent will shave hours off your actual cleaning time. Not only will this list help you decide what you need to focus on, but it will also help you order things to make the most of your time. Next, you'll want to set a timer. Now, I recommend 30 minute intervals. It's enough to get something done. And also, you'll probably need to take a break after that time. The time you're cleaning, fly by, create a diversion by turning on your favorite YouTube channel. I like Marissa Morrell, or you may just turn on my channel if you are really feeling the love. The first cleaning task you're going to want to tackle is to take all your laundry and throw it in the wash. This way you can make the very most of the time spent cleaning by double tasking. I know it's spring because I can see tiny little dog footprints on all my couch pillows and my slip covers. If you're new to Skip to My Life, a great big welcome. Thank you to so many of you who have liked and subscribed lately and welcome to all those of you who are new. A deep spring clean can be really hard on your hands, so I recommend taking your favorite lotion. I love this Aquaphor healing ointment and putting it all over your hands and then covering them with some nitrile gloves. Just remember that you may need to change gloves between activities depending on what you're cleaning. Now I saw this homemade cleaning potion on another channel and I thought I would give it a try. It's one cup purified or distilled water heated for one minute and then we're going to add one cup of vinegar and to top it off we'll add one tablespoon of Dawn dish soap. Finally you'll just pour it into a large spray bottle and the channel said that it's really important to spray it on versus pouring it on because you'll get more contact with the dirty surface. I just discovered a wonderful channel called Clean My Space. Comment below and let me know if you know about it. I've provided a link to that in the description box. But one thing that she really suggests is allowing time for your solvents and your cleaning agents to sit on the surface before you wipe them off. For that reason, we're gonna thoroughly spray down the tub and shower curtain liner and just allow those to soak for a while while we're cleaning some other things. I normally do do a spring clean of my house, but this one was inspired because my husband had a guy's night scheduled, so they were all coming over. I knew these guys really didn't care that much whether my house was clean or not, but it really helped me kick into gear and get this done. One thing that had cluttered up my kitchen counters was all my spices and it was time to refill my little spice container organization system. So once I did that, I had a lot of counter space back. I don't know about you, but I find it so satisfying when I'm cleaning to be able to go down that list and cross things off. Okay friends, let's talk about this new Dollar Tree fan duster. Comment below and let me know if you have purchased this or if you've tried it. It did not fit my fan blades. These are some older fans, so I think it's probably designed for some of the newer fan blades, but I am gonna show you how I made it work anyway. As you can see, I just ran it along the fan blades as it was. But then if you bend it opposite, now this looks to me kind of like bunny ears, it will actually fit larger fan blades. So the way it comes, it's gonna fit the smaller fan blades. And then if you bend it the opposite direction, it's gonna fit your larger fan blades. Now, tell me if you think that this is worth all the trouble. My fans were not so dusty that I felt like it was really worth this, but I think if you had like half an inch of dust, that this would probably save you. Okay, so now it's time to tackle the dishes, and I thought that this would be as simple as setting my timer and unloading my dishwasher, but no, tell me if this has ever happened to you. I went and checked those supposedly clean dishes, and the cycle had not run effectively, so they were still dirty. Now this is where having a list came in because if I hadn't had a list, I probably would have gotten sidetracked here. But since I knew the order that I wanted to do things and I had this detailed idea of how I wanted to have my house clean that day, I decided just to bite the bullet and hand wash those dishes. 
Well, now my friends, it's story time because I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my growing up years. We did not have a dishwasher. So we all had to hand wash those dishes and my older sisters, when they were dating, would bring their boyfriends around and eventually they turned into husbands. And one of the rites of passage was that they had to help us wash dishes in the kitchen over the sink was where we really got to know what kind of a guy they were. I'm next gonna show you a speed clean method to clean your microwave with all that caked on food. All you'll do is pour about a half a cup of vinegar and microwave it for about a minute. While that's going, I'm gonna get out my steamer because we're gonna need to plug that in and get it ready for our next step. And just in case you're curious, you will find links in the comment box to show you everything I'm using in this video. Once the vinegar has been in the microwave for about a minute, all you'll need to do is go back in and just wipe things off. The food comes off effortlessly and it looks beautiful. I was so glad I discovered the Clean My Space channel. She has a cleaning business, but she's done so many videos on cleaning common things in your house and she just makes the job so much easier so please check that one out my steamer is now ready for me to just go over my windows and this little Bissell handheld steamer has made so many jobs so much easier for me all I need to do is steam these windows and wipe them with a microfiber cloth I hope if you are getting your house decluttered, cleaned, and organized for spring, that this gives you a little bit of motivation to get going. Since my steamer's up and running, I'm just gonna go back over all those kitchen surfaces and disinfect them all by steaming them and then just wiping them with that microfiber cloth. If you have a microfiber cloth that you love, comment below and let me know what brand you like. I just use the Dollar Store brand but I know that this channel Clean My Space has their own line of microfiber cloth and kitchen cloths. Well, I consider this a badge of honor. I cleaned right through my nitrile gloves. One of the things I love about scheduling time for a deep spring cleaning is that all the appliances get thoroughly cleaned at the same time. My in-laws gave me this Ninja Air Fryer for Christmas and I'm gonna show you why I love it. It's great if you live in a small space because it actually does about eight functions in one appliance. But the reason I use it all the time is because it folds up so it frees up all the counter space that I really need. Well, I honestly don't know what I did before I owned this handheld steamer. It is such an effective way to clean baked on and greasy surfaces. And in the end, I know I am saving money on a lot of solvents and cleaners, as well as time and effort. Well, comment below and let me know when was the last time you cleaned out that little tray underneath your toaster. It gets kind of gross, but my goodness, it is so satisfying to clean. I like to use Dollar Tree plastic cutting boards all over my house. And one place I love to use it is under my coffee maker. It just helps me slide the coffee maker effortlessly in and out, but it also avoids staining my counter. I'll link below to this coffee maker that we have been using and loving. The reason we like it is because it has that carafe function for normal pots of coffee, but you can also use cake cups if you just want one cup. And a lot of mornings, my husband wants a different kind of coffee than I do, or maybe one of us forgot to set the pot for the next morning. And it's so easy just to put in a one serving size. Okay, here's a scary story with a happy ending. I was scrubbing out this coffee carafe and I guess I got a little bit too aggressive and didn't even realize it, but I broke the glass on that thing and thankfully I didn't cut myself. I had my gloves on, all was well, but I'm gonna show you how I solved that problem. If you're looking for a super economical and easy way to clean all your stainless surfaces in your kitchen, I again recommend a handheld steamer and a microfiber cloth. 
I have spent a lot of money on different solvents and most of them end up leaving streaks. This method is so, so simple and it works for me every single time. I usually clean stainless in two steps. My first pass is going to be steaming and wiping off any grime. And then my second pass is going to be all in the same direction, polishing that stainless steel so it looks very nice, polished and without any streaks or drops. For those of you who have been around for a while, you know that my husband and I downsized from a six bedroom McMansion several years ago to a tiny three bedroom rental home. And this home is about 1100 square feet. So it has been a process of us paring down our belongings, simplifying our life and learning to embrace smaller space living. One of the things that I normally don't tackle on an everyday basis is the lower half of my kitchen. You know what I mean. Those baseboards, those cabinets, the things that fall below our eye level. And once we look at them closely, it can be pretty nasty. I started by spraying on our magic cleaning potion that we cooked up a little bit earlier and just letting that solution sit like I learned from the Clean My Space channel. Now, once I went back to wipe it off, it all came off with very little effort. Since we're renting, we really don't have a lot of choice in our floor surfaces. So we have a combination of tile, laminate wood, and also carpet in the bedrooms. So I'm gonna treat all three of those surfaces differently when it comes to cleaning. Now I'm gonna tell you that this vacuum has worked really well for me and I would love to give you a link, but I don't think that they're making these anymore. And the other thing I wanna tell you is I am in the market for a vacuum. So if you have a good cordless vacuum that you love, please let me know. I will do my research. I will do my best to come on and share that with all of you in future episodes. The best cleaner that I have found for tile floors is this steam mop, and I have given you a link below. One of the things I love about it is, again, it just uses water. Now, it is really important that you use distilled or purified water, otherwise you will get some calcium buildup, but it could not be more simple or more clean for your floors. The way that this particular steam mop works is when you depress the handle, as you see me stopping and doing, it releases extra steam. So if you have a really dirty spot, you're gonna wanna stop, depress that handle a couple times, and it's gonna remove that grime. We are officially crossing the kitchen off the list, and I am so happy with the way that it looks. Comment below and let me know, do you have company or family coming during the spring or summer months and how are you getting ready? Well, Bella, my long hair dachshund is making her appearance in and out. One of the things I love most about spring is opening that door and letting the fresh air in. If you saw my dining room redo, then you'll remember this new table and chairs. It's a picnic table style table and chairs. I wasn't sure how we would like it, but it's actually functioning really well for us. It lets us use the very most of the space and it's plenty of seating for us when we sit down to have a meal together. Like many of you, we do not have a pantry, so it's really important I freed up all my cabinets for food storage. And for that reason, I redid my mom's antique china hutch and turned it into the place we store our everyday dishes. Let's be real here, almost every horizontal surface in my home, I don't know if yours is the same, starts collecting clutter. So I just really needed to declutter the space, find a home for everything, and make sure that everything was lined up and looking great. Before we move on to the next space, we're going to add the icing on the cake, which is gonna be clean air. Before we move on to the living room, we're gonna just clean the air in the kitchen and eating space with some tea tree oil. I just learned from the channel Clean My Space that tea tree oil is one of the best air cleaning and purifying oils you can use. Well, Bella and I took a break and ran to Walmart for a couple things I was running out of. The first was more gloves. 
The second I wanted to try was this cleaning formula called the Pink Stuff. Comment below and let me know if you've tried it and you like it. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion coming up. Lastly, did you know that Walmart carries a replacement carafe that's universal to all coffee makers? I didn't know that, but I was so glad because I was afraid I was gonna have to replace the whole coffee maker. We're gonna start on the living room next by just tidying things up and putting everything back where it goes. I find that having the timer set for 30 minutes is really helpful in these spaces because it's so easy to get sidetracked and start going through things. And when you have that timer on, it just keeps you right on task. Now I have had this oversized armchair for over 20 years. I had to sit down and do the math and it has seen better days, but I love it because it's made so well. I eventually want to get it reupholstered. Until I do that, I have been using this slip cover has also seen better days, but I'm gonna show you my little tip and trick. If you have a slip cover and you really wanna get it to fit snugly, here's what you need to do. For your first step, you're gonna to wanna to line up your slip cover as best you can and leave that surplus along the back and sides. Next, you'll need a medium-sized piece of PVC pipe or a wood dowel that's measured to fit the back of the chair as well as both the arms. Push that PVC pipe or dowel down past your cushion and your slip cover will look like it is handmade for that piece of furniture. We call this chair Bella's throne because she loves to sit up here and watch out the window. So I am covering this with a cheap Ikea throw and some old towels. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope that you will do that because you will be the first to be notified when I have a new episode coming your way. And I have an upcoming episode featuring a total living room redo. Many of you told me you wanted to see that. So it is in the works and I am so excited. I have a lot of new tips and tricks for all of you. As beautiful as springtime is, it is also allergy season. So my husband and I each have our own separate box of tissues on each nightstand. Now, don't forget when you're cleaning, you wanna wipe those types of things down, as well as your handles, your light switches, and your remote controls. And you'll notice that I'm placing everything on a round placemat. I found these at Target. They match my decor and they keep me from having to dust all the time. We are the type of people that buy furniture very infrequently. When we buy it, we buy it to last. And this coffee table is one of those pieces we bought with one of my husband's first bonus checks that he got at his new job. And it has lasted all these years. Well, I learned from the channel Clean My Space that you really do have to clean laminate flooring much differently than you do tile, and most manufacturers do not recommend steam on laminate flooring. I'm starting by pushing everything away from the wall so I can do a really deep vacuum on this area. And if you see that large mirror against the wall, it looks kind of like a pottery barn giant mirror, and those things are hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, I guarantee you. I did not pay that. I will tell you how we created this mirror. I could have used the steam cleaner on these mirrors, but I love the fresh scent of the Sprayway glass cleaner. So I'm using that instead. Now here's how we made these mirrors. If you have seen my closet overhaul, you know that my husband and I each have a closet on either side of a very narrow hallway in our bedroom. And so we removed the bifold doors, which were these mirrors. And we decided instead of using them as closet doors, we would increase the space by keeping the closet open and then transferring them into our living room as a large art piece. About once a season, I will get out my Swiffer mop and use this shiny floor polish on my laminate floors. I feel like it really increases the shine, but it also helps protect those floors. Now, the reason I use a Swiffer is because it will ruin a regular mop head. It does dry to a glaze. So make sure that whatever you use with this product can be disposed of. 
I usually tackle the floor in this space in thirds. So I'll move the couch away, get that all complete, let it dry, and then move to the middle of the room, get that area clean and let it dry. And then do the same thing with the area by the window. So that's what you'll see me doing here. There's one extra item that Bella and I snapped up on our Walmart haul that I did not tell you about and I'm wondering if you can guess what it is. You may notice that dark colored duffel bag that I have sitting in my armchair on the right. That is our go bag and I'm going to put in a little plug for you to get together a go bag of your own. Spring can also be the time when we see extreme weather events like tornadoes, and we have had a couple of those warnings in our area. A go bag purpose is to throw together all the things that you may need to just grab and go out the door in case of a severe weather emergency, a fire, or another disaster. It gives me so much peace of mind to know that I have some dog food, a change of clothes, an extra pair of shoes, and a few other things in that bag. And that if I forget everything else, I can get that bag and I'll be okay for a couple days. So if you want me to do an episode on what's in my go bag and how to make one for yourself, comment below and let me know. I just keep this little duffel behind our sitting area and no one even knows it's there. I don't even know if my husband knows it's there. I should probably tell him that, but it's really quick to grab on the way out the door and no one is the wiser. Okay, maybe you guessed by now the extra item I picked up on my Walmart run was these adorable spring summer sneakers. They are one of Walmart's new brands, Love and Sports, and I'm providing a link to that online shopping below. Okay, we've tackled the kitchen, we've tackled the eating area, and now we have tackled our living room. But wait, before we leave, we need to get those ducts clean because let's remember, if that air is not clean, it's all going to be for nothing. Well, our duck doesn't shed a lot, but I am always surprised at how much pet hair and dander I find in these ducks. And I always start by vacuuming out the obvious particles, and then I'll just go back with my microfiber cloth with some cleaner sprayed on top of that. This is one of those really satisfying cleaning jobs because you can see a clear winter before and after. Here's where I really want to encourage you to go back to your list, check off what you've done, and keep yourself from getting off track. Well, now it's time to tackle the bathrooms, and we're going to see, did our cleaning potion work, and did it help to leave it sitting there? My new favorite cleaning sponge for bathroom and kitchen is the Scrub Buddies sponge from Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to tell you that our cleaning potion worked really well in my kitchen, but I found I needed something a little stronger in my tub, and I was hoping that the pink stuff would be the answer. First, let me say that the smell is so delightful. It is not overpowering and strong. It smells really fresh, and it's just one of those scents that makes me want to use it over and over. Now this tub is my cleaning whale. It is always looking stained and nasty because when we got to this house, the tub had seen better days. But I am gonna say that the pink stuff did a really good job. I also used my steamer on this and then I just used my little Dollar Tree pitcher. I rinsed it all away and I was delighted with how clean and white everything appeared. Well, if you want to cut your bathroom cleaning time in half, my best hack for you is to, once again, I know that I sound like a broken record, but use a hand steamer for mirrors and all the ceramic surfaces. Yes, you can even use a hand steamer to clean the ins and outs and crevices of your toilet. I use that in combination with a solvent and then I just wipe it all away. Well, let me know if you are loving all the planting and gardening that comes along with spring. My friend Maria and I just went to a new garden center. I'm going to show you some of the pictures of that. We had so much fun and I am ready to be done cleaning and do some fun stuff outdoors. Well, this is that catch all dust and dirt space, our hallway. And I am so happy with everything that I've accomplished. Let me remind you all, if you're still here with me, today is not the end of your story. So do not give up. Do not quit. Keep putting one foot in front of the other.